today, Sven the Slayer here once again with a StarMade Logic Showcase. Now, I don't know about you, but my biggest pet peeve in StarMade is when people just have doors to space. So, I build all my ships with airlocks, and Logic has given us the ability to make complex airlocks or very simple airlocks, depending on our needs. So, today I'll be showing off the airlocks that I've come up with to date. Now, first up, we have a very simple airlock. It's just two doors um, opposite of each other, wired into a knot. And you can trigger it and get put in gravity. So these are actually all wired in, you know, parallel, I guess it would be. So all the activator blocks are wired together so you can flip it from either any of the three switches and this switch is also wired to the gravity so when you're in the airlock switching positions you have automatic gravity it's uh, very easy to build three activators one knot one gravity eight doors a couple lights um, very simple that's pretty much as basic as you can get with uh, logic next up we have a simple smart airlock um, this is just two automatic doors you enter and then the door opens and closes for you and in the center here I also have another motion detector with gravity and motion detector out the door so very simple just two motion detectors pulses to open the door for you and another motion detector set up to the gravity probably the, you know, one of the simplest solutions other than, you know, this little guy here. Next up, we have another motion-sensitive automatic door. This one you approach, and it opens the door and holds it open. And you have automatic gravity as well. And then once you hit the motion sensors on the other side, it'll cycle the airlock for you. So, I don't very much care for this one because I like always having both doors shut. So, uh, on stations, I might use a hybrid of these two. Have motion sensors um, changing the lights depending on which one you've passed through, but have the doors automatically open and close. but they're very, very user-friendly. You just have to pass through it and it works. Next up is my favorite. This is what I'm calling the smart airlock. When you approach it, you can open the door and it opens just for a second to let you pass through. And then once inside, you have three buttons and this button won't do anything on the opposite door because right now the red lights are indicating that it's unpressurized. So you can go back out if you, uh, you, know, you want to, or you can switch this switch to pressurize the airlock and get put in gravity too. So in gravity, after a second, the airlock will pressurize. And you saw it also automatically open the door for you, so you can move right through if you want. But if you're not quick enough and the door closes, you can always open the next door and it'll only open uh, for a like sake so if it's pressurized you can move into the ship which is pressurized and if it's unpressurized you can move out of the ship which is unpressurized so this is my favorite airlock I've made so far because it's relatively simple to build and it has uh, full functionality of authentic airlocks as far as I know Now, last but not least is the smarter airlock. Um, this is nearly identical to the smart airlock, except it has one extra feature. When you push the button, you can go in, and you'll notice the extra two buttons are missing. That is because it has extra memory to know if you've passed through or not. So it'll keep the door open until you've passed through. 
problem with this is it's quite a bit more complex. So that's the circuit for the smart airlock, and here's the circuit for the smart airlock. Plus, it also has the motion detectors over here. So it's it's quite a bit more complex. But once we get the ability to copy and paste circuits, uh, it might actually be a very viable option because you'll just have to build uh, templates, and maybe I'll release templates these pointing in every direction and then you can just copy and paste them into your ship as you please. Um, I've actually already fit the hammer with two smart airlocks, one on each side, and it's got in positions for another two. So very handy, very versatile. Thanks for watching.